Morning, everyone. It's uh, just past 8.30, and this is your pre-opening comment. It's video number 388, and today's Thursday, so it's Initial Claims and Continuing Claims Day. Uh, initial Claims which uh, were revised up from last week's 963 to 971, moved solidly back above a million, 1.1 million, 1.106. So we had a one-week respite, and here we are right back where we began, uh, 21 out of 22 weeks of over a million on the initial side. Continuing claims were slightly lower at 14,844,000 down from 15,480. So that's um, a nice gain for us, but you know, nothing overwhelming. And the difference there uh, is meaningful, uh, but not all that helpful. Uh, we also had the Philly Fed number, which was expected to come in at 20, it came in at 17.2. So uh, there's not a whole lot going on there either. It's lower than expected, although it is still a positive number. Um, in the stocks area, we had NVIDIA last night with uh, a beat with some uh, minor uh, discussion about the lack of momentum in their data center business. Uh, the stock is trading exactly where it was last night, 480, 481, uh, down just a couple of dollars. You know, remember that that stock has moved from uh, 432 to 499 uh, over the last week and a day. So uh, that's holding up pretty well. Uh, we also had the Intel announcement uh, of the uh, ad of 10 billion into their stock buyback. That too is acting unchanged from where it was last night, trading right around 50, which uh, was up about a uh, dollar and change, dollar 70 or about 3%. Uh, Baba, Alibaba had earnings. They beat top and bottom line. The stock traded down from uh, 265 on the upside all the way down to 255 and is currently sitting dead in the middle, about unchanged at 260. Okay, other companies. L Brands. Uh, which uh, their Victoria's Secret uh, business is reopening. They reported a surprise swing back to profits, and the stock is trading twenty nine ninety, which is up a dollar forty three off uh, yesterday's close. Um, Airbnb filed a confidential. So no real information uh, filing um, about their intent to uh, go public. American Airlines is uh, cutting routes to uh, lots of places that you and I might not be traveling, but there is travel there. Uh, the stock is trading down a dime at 12.57. And Qantas, the Australian airline, came out today and said that they don't see uh, any pickup in business until the second quarter, second half of 2021. And uh, Google has a minor problem. <laughs> They are having outages in both Gmail and Google Docs, and uh, they say that they're working on that. Uh, Asia and Europe are both down. Uh, basically, it's uh, Fed concerns about where we are without a stimulus deal. 
And uh, as far as the market goes, the Dow is indicated down 110, the S&P down about 12, and the NASDAQ, which was just slightly positive for a little while, is down about 7. So really not a lot of action. In the futures business, again, we're higher today in the bonds. Uh, the question of uh, all of these economic numbers and possibly with the market looking a little weak, a flight to safety uh, is bottoming the bonds here right at the lower level of uh, this month's long consolidation uh, between about uh, 177 and 182. So we keep on bouncing from top to bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom. Uh, we had that one uh, big move to the downside that reversed within days and put us right back into that area. And so that's what's going on there. Uh, as I mentioned yesterday, uh, we had a nice move in uh, the US dollar. Uh, I don't see it holding particularly well, but uh, it's certainly trying to put in some sort of a little bottom here. As I said, uh, in this area, it looked like it was going to break out and maybe test uh, 95, possibly 96. Instead, it broke to the downside, down to around 92.10, uh, but then had this big day up yesterday. Uh, roughly uh, 62 cents, which is a huge move. That's six tenths of a percent in a day for a currency. Uh, we moved slightly higher this morning, uh, touching this uh, area at 92.83. Uh, I still think that we have some room on the upside. The five day is flattening a little, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, and uh, that leaves us some room. Now, uh, the oil is down about 40 cents. There's a lot of talk about uh, cheating coming out of Nigeria. Uh, OPEC seems to be addressing it, but uh, there's really not a lot of progress there. And the gold. Um, now, I have to show you on the gold uh, what we're really looking at. It shows as down 23. Uh, there are two closings for the gold. There's the open outcry closing which happens around 2.30. And then the gold trades in electronic hours until uh, about 8 o'clock. Um, what this is showing uh, for yesterday is a close of uh, 1970. That was the close for the open outcry. Uh, in point of fact, we were all the way down here at 1930, 1934 and we're down about $80. Um, and today it shows us as uh, 1950, roughly down 20. 1950 is actually up 16 off the overnight close. So a uh, little bit of confusion there, but uh, that's the explanation. And, uh, you know, we're in this Alibaba spread uh, it's basically unchanged, and for that, I'm thankful. As everybody knows, I absolutely hate being in any stock that's reporting, and I don't play earnings reports. So it looks like we've, uh, you know, dodged a bullet there. And uh, again, uh, the Google outage is affecting Gmail and Google Docs. And that's about it, folks. Um, Dow implied open is now down 105, so a really minor little rally. Uh, and the American Airlines that was 1257 is now 1236, down 32 cents. Uh, you know, this is a group that you might be able to trade, but I really think it's uninvestable here. Okay, everyone, I'll be back later with my closing comment, unless something happens during the day. Have a good one, and don't forget to subscribe.